Today I'm going to show you the cheapest way to set up lights inside of your studio next on Geekazine. Hey everybody, Jeffrey Powers here with Geekazine, Think Magazine, Put in a Geek. You've got Geekazine, of course. And today I'm going to show you something. You know, in the last few months I've been trying to figure out, you know, different ways to do lighting inside of my studio. My studio is a small room, 10 by 12. So lighting it doesn't, you don't need to have like super powerful lights to light up this room. What my studios had is these incandescent bulbs uh, in uh, basically work lights. So they're those metal cans, uh, work lights. They had um, 100 watt compact fluorescent bulbs in them. So they run at 40 watts, but they're still giving off an amount of heat. In fact, I've got one of them uh, lighting up for this video simply because of the fact that I'm using part of my lights in here. So I wanted to kind of cut down the heat inside of this room because this room gets uh, pretty warm. I decided that I'm going to switch over to some LEDs. Now uh, what I first was going to do was I was going to set up a, a really cool tutorial on how I would uh, build my own LED lights but in all reality at the end of the day this process works so much better and is already taken care of. It just didn't make any sense for me to build something when it's right here. And, and plus, it gives me the option of either using a battery or using a plug system. And that's that's the best part about it. And it's all by this company called Newer, N-E-E-W-E-R. And I've been using these lights for many years for my cameras because they were a great alternative to the four or $500 LED light uh, uh, solutions. Uh, they give you a, a 57 or 32,000 K effect simply by filters. They are dimmable, which some people don't believe in dimmable lights because they cause flicker. Um, yeah, and there's been times old and when these lights start to die, they'll start to show flicker. But I use these lights not only in my camera work, not only in the studio, but also when I'm out playing gigs. I've actually hooked up one of these lights. It's I can hook it up onto the speaker and I don't have like a big PAR 64. I don't need a big PAR 64 to illuminate myself and these things do an awesome job. Now they get bright so when they're in front of you, you, you know, you get that you get that flash on there. So you want to put a softbox on it and we've got that solution as well. So let's start with this. We've got the this is the CN160 LED video lighting. That's this one right here. So what you get is this light. We'll take off the diffuser here. What you get is this light right here. And the cool thing about this light is it comes with the many different options. I'll take out the, this uh, part right here. Comes out with many different options for you. And basically, we've got many different ways that you can, different batteries you can put in. Now, I use these Panasonic batteries because um, they slip right in, and that's what's recommended. But you can put in double A's. There's uh, the Sonic battery, the, the camera batteries that I have. Those are great backup batteries. I can pop those in. I've got an adapter to even do more types of different batteries. So if you, and these are all, these are for another uh, type of Panasonic battery. So all in all, you've got more than enough options for batteries. And, and if you forget your batteries, you just go get double A's, six, uh, six or eight double A's. It's one, two, three, four, five, six double A's right here. And uh, you've basically got about an hour's worth of lighting with those batteries because they take up very little juice. The other piece that made this so worth it um, is another piece that you can purchase. Now, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second, but first of all, we've got the front here. Of course, you see that it's 160 lights. They also have a 123 version, and they've got, they've got a couple different versions. But it also comes with the with the different kit. This is the 3200 filter. This is, uh, this is the non-diffused filter. And then, of course, this is the diffused filter. So, you know, this way, you'll, you'll just basically be squinting on the lights. But if they're up high, just kind of of hitting on the subject or something like that that's great that that works really well but if you need to diffuse you can you just pop this slide this right in here I'll just uh, do that right now and this one's actually they, they've improved it they've got little uh, notches in there so it doesn't fall out the previous versions they would just fall out like no no tomorrow so this is kind of nice but if you do want that 3200 effect they do have another filter here on the side 
on off switch dimmable so it's it's just a little dial right there i usually it's always up on here so and then like i said any a lot of different types of batteries including double a batteries for you but they also created this which is really cool so this is the battery i use this is the battery that they created and it's not really a battery it's a plug-in that they created for this uh this light so as you can see there's a little hole right there you get a little basic uh, a plug right there and you take the plug and you plug it in simple as that so this is perfect for the studio because of the fact that you know i don't know i can plug it into the wall and not have to worry about it. so what i'll do is all you have to do is just slide it in there so you pop it in and i gotta see it so you pop it in you slide it in you feel the, the little click and stuff like that and there you go got a little backing here i like to put on the backing so i don't lose it so i'll pop that in there really quick and it actually makes it look look nicer in the back so this is what it looks like in the back you take the plug you plug it in and then you plug it into the wall let's plug it in the wall over here well so you can see what's going on Oops. and there's a little green light on the on the thing whoa <laughs> There's a little green light on the thing. Let's let's zoom back out. There's a little green light on the plug, so it tells you that that's going. And of course, if you want to check, there's the little battery indicator in the back, but it gets pretty bright. And this is with the diffuser on. So, and you might go, well, okay, I don't I don't want that brightness inside my inside my studio. So you have to get another uh, item, and this is this is basically the soft box for this light system. Now you gotta, you gotta make sure you got the CN, um, the CN160. I did get another type of light from newer that has a removable bottom, uh, which I use for my field video. So the soft boxes don't fit too well on there, but on these CNs, uh, 160s, they fit really well. So as you can see, this is a soft box and this will help filter the light. It's a, uh, it's just basically a box and it's got a velcro strap around it so what you do is you uh, put your uh, put your light in here and then you wrap the velcro around it gets it's a little tough to do and you don't want to block all the vents or anything like that so that's very important here we go so we'll wrap it around right here bring it down there we go now we've got a soft box a simple soft box on here and of course you could probably get a more expensive softbox but as you can see the light a lot better and if I was to look at it it, it would look really well in fact I could light myself down here a little um, Halloween look <laughs> and go from there but you know this is a great little softbox and uh, it illuminates like I said a room like this if you're doing one-on-one -on -one interviews you have two of these one on one side one on the other one and you're you're pretty much lighting up the whole room it's great one more thing that that you can get from newer and this is this is just as cheap as all of this and I'm going to tell you all the prices in a second here this is a six foot um, uh, cowboy st uh, stand and it, it's very small it's very lightweight so if you need to put it in a bag you're not you're not being dragged down by it it's 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 actually lighter than your than most of my tripods so it and it stands up it's not the heaviest thing so if you're outside you might want to bag it down or something like that make sure that it doesn't fly off of the wind or anything like that but and, and the best part is it's a cowboy sh uh, cowboy stand so you can get some of the cowboy attachments um, like on that stand i actually have a uh, an extender uh, adapter but these things on the top they have these little rubber pieces that screw right off and then on the top you have a screw mount where you can put the light on and i'll do that right now so you don't even need to get the extensions but if you want like i said if you want to put umbrellas on this is basically it this is a stand this is the light it's 160 leds in here and for a room like this and and i'm guessing a, a little bit larger room a couple months ago i was speaking and i was in a darker room they didn't have front lights so i went to my car and grabbed these two and put them up and uh, used them as my spotlights they did great um, like i said with my music show 
I can turn around and uh, I have one of these lights pointed on me and I'm showing you that video right now. I could put this on a stand and I could have one on each side and it's more than illuminating uh, something like that. Very easy. Now if you're trying to do a big studio or anything like that, this, these lights, they're great for spots but you'll probably need a bigger panel light for that. Now, let's talk about the price. When I tried to build an LED light, we were talking a uh, nice big LED light was about uh, $80 to $100, and that's for those little strip LEDs. And, uh, and what I was gonna do is I was actually got a uh, picture frame and I was gonna use the picture frame and put that in there. You got, in the more LEDs, you gotta do heat sinks and stuff like that. So that actually got into about the $150 range when everything was said and done. This light, this light in itself, about $30 for the light. If you wanna get a battery, it's about $20. This thing right here, this uh, plug-in light, 15 bucks. This soft box, I think it was like 10 bucks. The cowboy stand, another 15 bucks. So in all, 60 to $70 with this soft box. If you, you don't even need the soft box, find some light fabric, uh, like a wedding dress type fabric, and then drape it over the light. And that's only, you know, as much as you want to spend for the fabric. All in all, about uh, $70, $80, and you've got a full light right here. I've got, uh, I've got two of them set up in the studio. I'm probably gonna get a third one, because I got a backfill light, and that's an incandescent right now, um, and go from there. And it really does make a difference on the look of your video. So here we go, it's really simple. The light, uh, $30 for the light, $15 for this extension to uh, be able to plug it in, another $15 for the cowboy stand, and another $10, $15 for this softbox. And you've got uh, production lighting at a fraction of the price of an LED panel. And it's versatile, so if I go out and do one-on-one -on -one interviews, in other places, I just have to take the light, take down the lights, put it in a bag, pretty lightweight, and uh, and go from there. So I hope this helped you figure out what you're going to do with your lighting, figure out what you're going to do with your camera work. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Twitter handle is Geekazine. Think Magazine. Put in a geek. Of course, Geekazine at gmail.com. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time. You guys geek out and take care.